Good morning, Calvary Chapel Murfreesboro. Our memory verse for this month is 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 through 17. Let's say it together. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Let's look at this last phrase, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Thoroughly means all the way through. For every means all of them. So if you're ever wondering how you should approach a certain situation or what God is speaking to you about a certain issue, scripture is your first, middle, and last resort. It thoroughly equips you. Now, pastor often talks about fasting as something that you have to do ahead of time in that you can't suddenly fast when the emergency is on you. So too, in a sense, is scripture reading. This should be something that you are engaging in daily, regularly, thoroughly, so that you can be thoroughly equipped. It's not going to happen just because you own one. You have to actually read it and read it and read it and ponder on it and meditate on it and apply it and read it and repeat. This is the most important physical object that you own because it's not just a physical object. It is that, but it's more. It's a supernatural object that cuts right through space and time, that intersects the spiritual and the physical. It is very real and very powerful and very much more than a book. It, the Bible, thoroughly equips you for every good work. And these good works, Scripture says, God prepared beforehand for you. He gave you that purpose. We've talked about this in a previous memory verse. The very reason you exist, these good works, in a sense, this relationship with God, you will be equipped for them through Scripture. So that's why we chose this verse for this month. We talked about the importance of discipleship already and what discipleship is. This is the tool you need to pursue discipleship. Really, if you come at this with the right spirit and the right heart, this is the only tool because it is a completer. It makes you complete and it thoroughly equips you. So do not neglect this. Make this the first thing you do. Make this the most important daily activity you engage in. All right, pray, read, do. You can't miss any one of these, but you certainly should not slack in the reading part. Normally, just reading is a passive activity. That is not true with the Bible. It is a changing activity. It cuts deep, it changes, it molds, it shapes, it completes you. So if you ever feel adrift or distant or confused, my guess is you are not spending enough time in this completing work. So please, I beg you, do it and encourage everyone you know to do it too. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for not leaving us adrift in this life that you've given us. I thank you for giving us a guidebook, for giving us instruction, and for more than that, for giving us the Bible that gives us life, the word of life, Lord God. I pray that everyone in this room would take it seriously, that this Sunday teaching is not the only day of the week where they get any Bible. Lord, if that is true for anyone here, I pray that you would strike them with a conviction that they have been neglecting you and that they would feel it. And though it feels bad to understand that there is a way out and that's to just do what you say. Lord God, I pray that you would encourage them, comfort them, strengthen them, and help them to do exactly what it is that you say, which is to meditate on this word, to basically eat it and drink it. We need it. We need you. Lord God, help us to feel that truth. Bless this service. Bless your word. Bless pastor and these people. In your name, Jesus. Amen. God bless everyone. See you next week.